Hey folks, what's going on? Welcome back to Hazard County. We're back at Hazard. It's been a while, actually. We haven't been out here for a bit, but we're still, um, maybe it's, I've been kind of avoiding it because of the bales. Maybe that's part of it. <laughs> Let me get this thing uh, wrapped down. Maybe I've been avoiding the bales. <laughs> There's so many of them over here. Actually, it's not bad. There's uh, several dozen, that's for sure, but uh, we'll get them today. We'll get them all stacked up and uh, taken care of. You know what? Let's go get this one here as well while we're at it. That's better. We've got our Anderson Baylor back there. And, of course, we are in the Challenger. Oh, I don't know what to do with these bales yet. We have to come up with a decision, but we've got quite a few. This is the last field right here that I'm working on right now that uh, has bales. The rest should not. I think we're done after this. So everything you can kind of see through the windshield there, that's all the bales. You know what? I'm just going to keep on staying down this, this path right here. Um, everything you see in front of us what we're taking care of today, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get some money. I don't know. Maybe we'll get paid out of it. I haven't decided yet. I almost, we'll see. I'll show you how many we got here in a bit. We've got quite a few. I almost want to go do something different with all the bales I've got. I've got so many bales. Oh, man. We have a ton. Absolute ton of bales. Let's go grab this one right here, too. Nice. Looking good. Just stacking them up. So this thing's nice. I mean, we can do, what, 20, is it uh, 18 bales? I think it's 18 bales I can fit onto this trailer. And uh, it's the way it stacks, I wish, you know, we had the problems with the other Anderson Baylor. We got it replaced. They, uh, well, they gave us the upgrade. I, I still don't feel like it was an upgrade. I think that this one, I personally like the other one better. I don't like the way this one stacks. That has that big vertical stack. And it is what it is, but I just prefer to have the lower one. That's just me, though. Anyways, we'll talk a bit more about that in a bit here. Let me uh, keep on packing these up. And uh, we'll see what we can do with these bales in a bit here, guys. All right, let's do this thing. Bitter batter. Clutch simulations. So I know I said 18 bales. It's actually 16. I was off by one. You'd think I'd remember this after the amount I've done here. <laughs> You'd think I'd remember, but I guess not. All right, there we go. Get this last one stacked up and in. Good to go. Let's stack this up. We don't need that anymore. All right. Back over to our storage area. I could probably just leave it here. But uh, we'll bring it back over. We've got a whole bunch of them just around the corner here. We'll bring them all around there. Keep them all together. I think I'll try and sell these. Now, we have a couple different options on Hazard on where to sell these at. We'll go to Daisy. Oh, Daisy is such a pain, though, because you got to actually use a telehandler. She doesn't unload them for you. you got to go grab the telehandler and unload them yourself. I mean, what kind of business model is that? Who makes you unload your own bales? I mean, seriously. All right, let's store this up. Uh, oh, man. All right, let's go over to this side here. <laughs> Look at all the bales we got. Oh, we got so many, so many bales. Oh, man, guys. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with all these things. There's just so many. Maybe we could make... I'm tempted to make, like, a bale fort. We should do that. Like, a big, massive bale castle or something. I think that'd be kind of funny. Uh, there it goes. Goes on up. Come on. Now, this is what I was talking about as far as the offloading goes. The other Anderson trailer, I just prefer the way it unloads. It's too bad we, we couldn't get that one to work for us. It's really unfortunate. I'd much prefer to have that one the way it was. But, uh, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Boom. Drop that there. Straight forward. Straight forward. Um, I just like that it, it's only like three high. Is it three or two high? I can't remember anymore. The other one. It's not quite as high as... as uh, I think it's just too high. No, maybe it's three. Anyways, I just prefer the way that that one unloads rather than having these massive stacks because I always seem to find a way to knock these stacks over. Like right now, just driving out of here, you can see we've got the baler arm out. I'm not even thinking about it. I wouldn't even have noticed it. And I just would cut too close and knock that whole row over. I think I knocked one of these stacks over when we first placed them, actually, because if you try to turn at all when you're using these uh, those bale, bale handlers, it does not want to stay in place. The, the rear arms will grab onto it and knock the whole tower over on you. All right, let's go up to the top section here. Grab a couple more of these bales. We'll see if we can get... I bet you it'll be another... Oh, man. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fit them all on one trailer. It's going to be probably two trailers. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of bales there, guys. A lot of bales. You know, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm, kind of, I'm feeling lazy. I think we're going to see if I can stack them all. I was not there thinking of doing this, this massive castle with all these bales we got. And then I'm thinking about the amount of work that that's going to be and how long that's going to take me right now. And, um, yeah, the end of that idea, that's gone. <laughs> I'm done. We're, we don't need to do that. So instead, I'm going to just see if I can sell these off and see what kind of money I can make off them. Let's push this this way here. Got a little bit of a shove. I love being able to do that just with the front tire. As long as you don't get on top of it, just give it a nice little gentle shove over, line it up so it goes nice with the, uh, the loader, that loader arm there, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, so I really don't really want to... Uh, 
to go nuts and try and build something today. I'd like to do that at some point. Maybe we should make like a bale maze. Like a massive bale maze you can figure your way through. That might be something we could figure out some other time. But today, I just want to see if we can make some money off these bales. I really don't uh, feel like going nuts with a telehandler today, but we're going to have to load them all up somehow. Now, that's going to take some more equipment. I don't have enough equipment to deal with all this. We do have one flat deck trailer. I have no idea. Oh, man. I can't remember any more how many, how many uh, bales we can fit on that thing safely. I think it's 32. I want to say 32. I could be wrong, though. It might only be 30. I think it's at least 30, though, the square bales. And that's one of the reasons I kind of like the square bales. You can tend to stack them a lot higher. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> it was just getting pushed around there. Come on. Let's see. Oh, oh. I'm not liking what I'm sitting with this. I'm going to push this out here. Come on. Get over this way here. See, now I almost did it again where I put it into the loading position before I... Um, before I got by that stack and I would have knocked the whole thing over there. I've done that so many times. <laughs> you come up by it and I open the arm up and knock down your whole stack. Yeah, that's not fun. Such a pain. Just try to get this in the right spot. There we go. That's better. Back this up just a touch. And that'll look good. Drop. Now make sure we go nice and straight on the way out. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to have to get some trailers. Now we got, if that's 32, 1, 2, Four, five trailers. Like, yeah, that's going to be... That's a lot of loads. Um, that's a lot of bales, guys. That's a lot of straw bales. Holy shnikey, that's a lot of straw bales. Let me uh, figure out a way to do with, deal with this. we got to go grab another load at least. Might even be one and a half. Yeah, it sure looks like we've got a fair amount of bales still left in this field. That's all right. We'll grab as many as we can here. I'm, I want to finish this field off. It's done. You can see the straw we even left in here, but... Oh, it's straw. Eh. I mean, really, in the grand scheme of things, what'd you get for these bales? It's so... It, it, it's really tough to justify going too, too crazy. The amount of time you're going to spend on this. As, as long as you uh, do a little bit of work on it, I think you're okay. But I, I have a tough time justifying, really making sure we get all of it. Especially, like, around the corners. And, like, look at the backside over there. There's straw that's just kind of piled up everywhere that I haven't touched yet. Uh, that we're not baling. I just find straw is just not worth it. <laughs> it's just a lot of work for what you get. Grab onto this one here, get it over the back side, and we should be good. So we've got lots of crops too we can sell off here right away. I'll see how much we decide to sell off. We may have to get some, just to maybe get some more capital going our way. we got half a mil. We're not looking bad by any means. I mean, we can always, um, well, quickly make some money. You guys know what we got going on Hazard, right? we got our little clutch distillery, the old brown water distillery down there. And that's an easy way for us to, uh, to make some money. we got some stock down there, actually. I kind of always forget about it because we're always making, we're always putting stuff into that. Uh, I think it's just, the, what is it, the corn and the wheat? Is it corn and wheat or barley? I can't remember now. And water. And so I always just kind of fill it back up whenever I have a chance. So there's always product being made and it makes product so fast. So fast we can make a couple pallets full and it's 100 grand, like no problem. Over the course of like 12 hours, you could have 100 grand ready to go. It is by far the best way to make money. I swear, you can make money so quick with that uh, that distillery. You really want to make some cash quick? Hit the distillery. I'm telling you, it is ridiculous. All right, let's keep on going here. We've got 11. There's no way I'm going to finish this off. We'll have to do two more trips or one more trip here out here just to get the stragglers. Looks like we're going to be missing maybe a half dozen or so. That's all right. We'll bring those over. We'll get them all stacked up. And then i got to figure out how I'm going to load these things. I have a bunch of bales i got to load. I'm not doing this the slow way. There's no way. I don't want to do it this slow way. I'm done with that. We'll get some equipment. There's our last one. We've got another nine on top of that finished up. That's the last bale. Look at that. All set and ready to go. It's funny how that stacks up the way it does. It's at the front there. And then when it pushes forward, how is that going to sit? I've never noticed it before when you have an off number. Uh, that's kind of weird. Anyways, we'll see how it sits up when we go and offload this up here. From here, i got to go grab a semi. And I want to try something. I'm, I'm, it might be a total disaster. Um, but it might work perfectly, and uh, it might be the best brainchild I've ever had. I seriously doubt it, but you never know. <laughs> it can't hurt to try. Let's get this unloaded first and see what happens here. I just never noticed what happens when you have an extra one. Oh, uh, that moves out of the way. Must push it down and then flip it over. No. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was going to say, what happens to that one little bale that's sit by itself? Like, how is that... How is that supported when it's going up like that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Just saying. Get this up. Drop this off. Perfect. 
All right, I like it. Nice and straightforward now. And down we go. All right, guys. There you go. So we've got uh, two half stacks. We'll count those two halves as one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 11 stacks there, I count. All right. That's, um, that's quite a bit. <laughs> All right. Let me go grab a truck. And we're going to figure out how I'm going to load these things up. All right. I've come up with a solution. You ready for this? Um, I picked up, I brought our, our Peterbilt down because it's the most high powered truck I have. Our Ford's not going to do this job. There's no way. In fact, I'm not holding my breath on the Peterbilt being able to do this either. Um, let's just take a gander. You can see we've got a trailer right here. Um, yeah, we got a, we got a trailer right there. Um, we've got a trailer right there. We've got a, a trailer right there. We've, we've got a trailer right there. And we also have a trailer back there. Yeah, we have a, we have a few trailers. <laughs> I hope the sheriff doesn't catch us. Um, six trailers? I think we could handle that, right? I don't know what the weight would be. I'm sure it could handle it. Best driver in farm sim. What's the worst that could happen? Let's go. <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to be able to pull this or not. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. And we're empty right now. Um, I can't wait till we're full. Oh, if we get her on that pole. Come on. Get her on the pole. Oh, this is problems already. Oh, no. No. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. No. Go. <laughs> Is it going to pull them all around? Come on. One more trailer. One more. Just one more. Last one. Last one. Yes. Best driver in farm sim right here. There we go. We're good. Um, guys, I, I don't know if this is going to be able to handle this or not. But we've got a lot of bales to move. And I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to do this all in one go. So, um, or not in, in separate goes. I just wanted to go grab one load bring this to a drop-off point and be done with it. So we'll see what kind of money we get off this. Uh, it's a lot of bales to get rid of. There's no rain in the forecast, so I got, you know, some time to load up. We got some time to uh, drive this out to our sell point and get rid of these bales and make somebody happy because I don't need these bales. We've already taken the one load up top. I don't need any more bales on my farm. I don't want these straw bales sitting around all winter. Let's get rid of them. Let's get them. They got to go. Now, <laughs> I can manage to pull this off. Um... I mean, last time, I don't know if you guys remember, last time we, we tried to do something like this, we may have ran into a train, may have happened. Uh, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't my fault, but there may have been a train involved. That's all I'm saying. You may want to go back and look at Michigan if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. But anyways, uh, I think we'll be okay today. There's no train tracks I need to worry about on this route. Are we good to go? We're good to go? I mean, <laughs> I really got to plan this out to make sure I can make this because there's so... Look at the road train behind me. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. All right, look at that. The big question I have is, can this truck pull this many trailers full of bales? I, I don't have the answer to that yet. We're going to find out in, uh, well, the next couple minutes here. We'll see if we can get this thing all loaded up. It's going to take quite a pull to get this thing going, though. At least it's a short drive-ish, kind of, sort of, a little bit. <laughs> the other big problem I'm going to run into is, well, at least it's all downhill for the most part leaving this field. Um, I really don't want to go into the field very much. That's going to be a whole traction problem, and I don't need that. And if I, oh man, if I catch like even this little bridge deck, I've really got to make sure that I'm, I'm on the proper spot. Because if this catches anywhere once we're loaded, it's going to be a huge mess to get rid of this. Now, I do not have a hitch on the back of this truck. So everything's going to have to be pulled off kind of in order and I have to leave the dollies in place and there's going to be that whole rigmarole. Like, you really don't want to mess this up. <laughs> you don't want to mess this up at all. All right, let's spin this around. Oh, man, these are all 90 degrees in here too. Let's try to stay on the outside. <laughs> Look at the road train. This thing is awesome. All right, we're just getting pulled in. It looks like I'm going to hit this trailer. I need to pull this ahead. Just looking ahead here, I'm just seeing, I'm like, yeah, that's going to be close. Um, you can see I managed to um, kind of run into some bales over there. <laughs> Oops. Uh, just knocked them a little bit. It's okay. We've got the telehandler out, so we'll be able to fix that. But uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. All right, let's jump in this. We'll pull this forward now. If I can get this just like 10 feet up ahead here, I think that'll be okay. Let's go forward a touch. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Come on. Uh oh, oh, she's sinking in. Come on. 
Try not to spin those tires. Just get them so they go forward nice and... You can see she's grabbing, but she's just... She is fighting it. Oh, man, look at that. If I give it any more gas, though, she just kind of slides. And then what happens is those tires sink in and I'm stuck. So I don't want that to happen again. So I just got to kind of gently give it some gas. Hopefully I can gain a little bit of speed here. I've already got it stuck once. We had to kind of Mickey Mouse it back and forth to get it out. And it was a bit of a pain. Come on, get out. Go, go, go. Oh, see, look at that. Give it a bit more. See if I can get going. Just got to make sure we got to watch those tires. If they start sinking down, there we go. Sunk a little bit. Um, let's see if we can get this out of here. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, see, look at there. It's just sunk in. Ah, it's such a pain. Now you got to back it up and reverse it out. It's When you sink in like this afterwards, you really got to fight with this one. We're going to have to bring... I might even bring the telehandler over here just to lift the front end up. Give me enough power to get out of here. <laughs> Look at the front tires have just sunk in completely. And I didn't want that to happen. We only have like 20 feet left to go here. I'll have to push this around a little bit just to get it out and get it lined up. Then we're going to go start stacking bales on here. Um, I really want the truck to be on the road once we have this lined up. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem. Uh, how are we looking back there? Everything else looks pretty good. So I'm going to get this truck just kind of up on the road. <laughs> it's kind of sitting sideways here. And then we'll see if we can load these things up. It's going to be a bit of a pain. All right, got our first stack knocked down and loaded up onto this trailer. I'm almost on the road. I think I should be okay. The rest we're going to still need to load up. I want to pull forward, though. I want to make sure... I can pull this thing out. I think the fact these front tires are on, that should be enough. I'm not sure though. Let's see. Is there a little bit of gas? Make sure she doesn't sink in. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, we can accelerate pretty hard right there now. Excellent. Cool. So I'm just going to keep on doing this. One trailer at a time. Uh, and then just pulling it ahead a little bit. To get the uh, Even these, they tend to sink in a little bit. <laughs> and I don't want them to be sinking in as we're doing this. So uh, we're going to have to kind of take her a little bit easy there, that's for sure. Uh, why are they stacked sideways? Oh, they fell down. They fell down. That's right. See if I can roll, stack this over. Push down. Nice. Grab on. Put this on the deck. But uh, like I said, we've got a lot of bales to throw on the back of this trailers. Five more trailers to load. One down. <laughs> this is a lot of bales. Holy, that's a lot of bales. Push this over to second. Guys, this Kloss Telehandler, I am extremely impressed with. Look at this. <laughs> Eight bales, no problem. Let's get this thing loaded up. <laughs> Not bad. Not even bad at all. Drop this down here. Perfect. Look at that. Leave those there. Should just drop those off. Come on. Nice. Uh, how many we got left? We need two. One more. Oh, just one more. Okay, that's easy enough. Grab one more bale. We'll toss it on there. Yep. So far, best idea ever. Um, come on, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Get it all the way in. And then nice and easy. Stop, stop, stop. It's just a little bit jerky. I got to really work on my control for uh, that front loader. Just so I'm not quite as jerky. And we should be okay. Drop right there. I'm going to lower this down just a tooch. So it doesn't fall. Look at that. It's a lot of bales. Oh, come on. Grab for me. Don't you sink in. Don't you sink in. Don't you dare. Nice. There we go. <laughs> and, and there you go. Uh, that's the best way to unload them, isn't it? And we're even using the pallet fork right now. I think the pallet fork's actually a lot bad for this kind of stuff because it, it's a bit wider, so it tends to hold on to the bales a bit better. Did I just say the bales? I don't know what the bales are, but the bales. Tend to hold on a little bit longer. Come on, baby. Grab one of those. Nice. Oh, I didn't grab both. I didn't grab both. Let's try again. Try again. Re-aim. Could try first person. That might make life a little bit easier. Or about ten times more difficult. Depending on uh, what you think. There we go. That's good. Stop. Nice and easy. Push forward. Get those front tires to grab for me. Come on. Nice. There you go. That's an easy way to load eight bales in a hurry. Like, really. It doesn't get much quicker than that. There's 16 bales on there. we got to put some more up on that top deck. Uh, one other. Go six. Six. 
We want 30 in there, I think. So I only need six more, I believe. Is that right? No, we'll need 10 more. Ah, oh, never mind. Disregard. We're going to grab a whole bunch. We'll grab the full stack again until we're through these ones. And then if I have extras, I can always just throw them in the back trailer, right? It's not a big deal if I miscount. Come on. Oh, oh, I missed. Speaking of which, I don't want to try and set this down again, though, because that's uh, awkward to try to put it back down on top of that whole stack. I can just do this and then timber. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Come on. Drop it. Drop it. There you go. Uh, is that full? Yeah, it's full. Cool. So anyways, we've got a lot more to do here. I'll see uh, if I can kind of just slowly work my way through all these bales. It's going to take a bit of time. It's going to take just a bit of time. Oh, grab that. Guys, it's so tough to try and angle this sometimes. There we go. Um, but, you know what? We've got three more trailers after this still to load. We're going to do this the same for all these trailers. You know what? If I could just drive up beside it and load it that way, I would have. But I really don't think that this truck would have been able to handle that. Um, I was struggling in there as is to get this the way it is. And uh, to be actually able to pull ahead and do that, like pull fully through, I think would have been the end of me. I don't think I would have been able to get it close. I would have been fighting for sure. We were barely able to get to where we were the way it is right now. Really clutch? Come on. Get all the way down in there. From that angle, that looked like it was all the way in. That's funny. Perfect. All right. Um, yeah, like that truck, you can see how I'm sinking, even with this cloth, I'm sinking in. Those back tires spin, the front tires kind of don't, and then all of a sudden it just starts to sink in. Oh, there she is. And, uh, yeah, we kind of get lucky and just grabs. Seems like it's the perfect amount, though. Anyways, that's half of them done. I got another half to do. This is still going to take us a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. That's a lot of bales. Last eight bales. Oh, man. This is taking a little longer than I was actually expecting to do. Uh, it's amazing when you have a couple hundred bales, how long it takes. <laughs> hey, at least I got an auto loader. Uh, all right, let's load this. Oh, no, no, no. I missed. I missed. I missed. <sighs> See, especially when you mess up like this and you're constantly grabbing the wrong bales. Um, that doesn't really help your cause for speediness. They're all the way in. Perfect. And nice and easy, nice and easy. And straighten out. Oh, the back end's off the ground. <laughs> Come on. Hammer down. Go, 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 go. Let's get this thing loaded up. Bad. That's a lot of bales. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all of them. Uh, we didn't quite fill this trailer, this last trailer. I don't think we're short, what, four bales? Short four bales. Oh, uh, that's a lot of bales. I hope this truck can handle this. What do you guys think? What's the over under on the Peterbilt being able to pull all these trailers? I think it's going to be okay. I think. <laughs> Bad. That's a lot. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get this out of here. 176 bales, one load. Yes, let's go. Three, two, one. Hammer down. Go, go, go! Come on. Oh yeah, she's gonna pull it. <laughs> it's actually gonna pull it. Uh, that is fantastic. Not even a problem actually. It spun for a sec, and then now I'm just kind of coasting along here, and I think we're okay. Okay, I think it's gonna be okay. Look at this, 11, 12. Yeah, we're, we're accelerating. So I've gone with the bigger horsepower engine in this, uh, this beer build. I can't remember the horsepower. I think we're on 600 and something. So it doesn't seem to even notice. <laughs> we got behind us. Oh, that is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, yes, uh, go wide, go wide, go wide, go wide. And then cut her back in. Oh, I hope I made that wide enough. Oh no, I didn't make it wide enough. Hammer down, go. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, man, that was close. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Holy shnikes. That's a lot of bales, guys. Oh, man. Now, I thought about trying to sell all of these bales in town, but uh, the sell the spots that are really way too tight for me to get into. Oh, this corner. Come on. Hammer down, hammer down, hammer down. Oh, I think that stop sign's going bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, stop sign. There's no way. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Um, there's no way I could possibly make any of the corners in town in order to get this into like the rail depot. In fact, the rail depot, I think you got to back the trailer right up onto the platform. And there's no way I could potentially ever get this thing uh, to park in there. All right, swing wide. See if we can swing nice and wide. Keep the hammer down. Stay wide, stay wide, stay wide, stay wide. Those trailers are going to come in pretty hard. 
this road train. Oh, this thing is fantastic. Best idea ever. Oh, man, this is a really hard right, and there's a fence on the inside that I really can't hit. Down, and now crank it. Come on, baby. Over. Watch out for that sign. Oh, come on. All right, hammer down. Go, 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 go. Yes, come on. It's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Best driver in farm sim. Yes, we made it. All right, folks. Last set of turns. There's the warehouse right there. That's where we're doing everything. Oh, car coming. That's where the cell. Everything's got to go. I got to make it around this corner. And oh, there's, oh man, there's no room for error here at all. Uh, let's see if I can get this in through here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Easy does it. At what point do I put the hammer down here and just go for go for it? See, the problem is, as soon as I get the trailers through this, they've got to be going back left again. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope it's going all right back there. I can't tell. I think we're okay. All right, so now I'm stuck. Uh, it's, I'm stuck. No, I'm so close. I'm <laughs> so close. Uh, let's jump through here. What did I hit? Did I hit the fence? I must have hit the fence. Just, just rub it up against the fence here. I bet you I can pull this through. I think I bet oh, I should be able to just yank it through, I think. Just give it a bit of gas. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Nice. You know what? Yeah, it just pulls right through. Um, but I got to crank in here now. And this is narrow as... Oh, how am I going to get around in here? <laughs> I'm going to go in the field. I'm just going to go straight through. <laughs> what else am I going to get through here? Let's see what happens when we unload here. Uh, go. Oh, there it is. And oh, which side do I want this on? Let's put this right down here. And drop. Oh, I missed a little bit. I missed just a touch. I'll have to get out and shove those forward. Nope. All right, next trailer. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this train a rolling. Um, I'm going to run into some problems here very quickly, though. I, seriously. <laughs> Where am I going to put this thing? I'm go right there. Nice. We're getting 10,000 per... That's not really worth it. 60 grand, we're going to get off this. Not even... Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> I just can't see a thing. Um, okay, at least up there. Uh, put it on the other side. Other side. Come on, how close can I get this thing? Oh, no, 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 no. Right there. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see if I can pull another one through. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> the truck is sunk. Uh, I'm sunk. Yeah, I think I'm just jammed in completely now. Oh, yeah, it's rubbing here. Oh, darn it. I'm going to have to figure something out. Maybe I have to drag, drop those other two trailers, move this all around. What a pain. <laughs> I'm going to pull that dolly off. Um, yeah, we could pull the dolly off the one right in front and do it that way. That's the best way I could see doing this. Well, at least we managed to get half of it unloaded. Um, the second half is going to be a bit more of a pain, but uh, it is what it is. It's better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> uh, let's see. Grab onto this. Pull this forward. Come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice. As long as I can get... If I can get the other one... Oh, I can't get that past. It's going to be rubbing the whole way. I can back it up again. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to reset this whole set of trailers just to see if I can get this past that fence post. Otherwise, it's going to be rubbing up against it the whole time. Oh, we got other problems back there. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. All right, let's just unload this one quickly right here. All right, keep going. Go, 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 go. What a fight. <laughs> there we go. One last trailer left to go, and I'm stuck again. Let's just drop this one off here. Go. No, I want that. I want that one. I want that one. I didn't think that was going to be it. Grab that and grab that. Push this all the way through. We'll just grab the last one with the truck. Oh, all this for like 100 grand or 60 grand. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> that really wasn't worth it at all. I think this is more of a fight than that was worth. I'm just going to put this over here for the time being. And last but not least. Oh, boy. Thank you. See you later, Bales. Oh, man. All right, guys, there you go. I think we made about 60 grand. Um, that wasn't worth it. That was a lot of work for what it was. 
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed me toiling around here on Hazard County. You guys know what to do if you did. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.